You know, I think that if you want to be a good systems admin, systems engineer, cloud person, networking person, you need to know about VMware. Now look, there's a whole bunch of virtualization platforms out there. You've got your Citrix, you've got your Proxmox, there's all these other ones, but VMware is the biggest. It is the most popular. It is the most widely used platform for virtualization. Now, whether you're gonna go in for a VMware engineer or a VMware admin role, or whether you're going in for a sysadmin role, a sysengineer role, we're gonna give you common questions that you may get asked around VMware. Now, of course, these are not gonna be word for word the same when you go in for an interview. And I'll also give you some ideas around how you could potentially answer them. But ultimately, the best way to learn is for you to go and learn these yourself. What I like to do I like to have a home space, a home lab set up where I've actually installed VMware onto there. You can download completely for free and then you can start playing around with it, start learning a little bit more about it, start learning about virtual machines. And then that way, when you do get for an interview, you sort of know what you're talking about because you have played around with it at home. All right, enough rambling. Actually, one more thing. Subscribe. You're here for the first time. You gotta click on that button. Smash that button. What is VMware? What is it? It's a company, right? It's a company that does virtualization platforms. You can build computers, you can build servers that are virtual. They're virtual copies. So you can have a physical computer and actually install virtualization software onto it and then build virtual machines. And VMware is the biggest company that allows you to do that. What are the components of VMware? Like what are the main apps that make up the VMware suite? Well, the more common ones, we've already talked about ESXi, which is the hypervisor given to you by VMware. You've got vCenter, and what is vCenter? Well, it lets you have all of your ESXi hosts centrally managed in this thing called vCenter. You can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with vCenter, redundancy, you can migrate the VMs between them. You've also got vSphere. vSphere is sort of like the big package but also vSphere is the web client. It's the way that you log in through a web browser to manage your ESXi and your vCenter environments. You've got virtual machines, you've got data stores, you've got clusters, you've got DRS. There's all these other terminologies when we're talking about VMware. What is a virtual machine and how does it work? Virtual machine is not a physical machine. It's not like a physical computer that you can see. It's a virtual one and you can build lots of virtual ones within a physical computer. The virtual machine runs an operating system the same way that a physical computer does. You can install Windows, Linux, the Mac, virtually. What is vSphere? We covered it just before, but know a little bit about vSphere, that vSphere is the platform that encompasses all of the VMware suite. It provides a centralized management interface for virtual machines, for all of your resources, for administration of your machines, allowing admins to deploy, manage, monitor virtual machines, and you access through this vSphere client, all of your VMware environment. Why is VMware better than Citrix? Why is VMware better than Hyper-V? What is vCenter? We talked about vCenter. You're gonna be managing all of your ESXi hosts. It is the central spot where you manage all of your environment. You can build virtual machines. You can use data stores. You can do clusters. You can set up high availability. You can remotely update things. You can check the monitoring, the health, all in one single spot. What is vMotion? And this one is quite common. A lot of people get confused with vMotion. A migration is copying one VM to another host when the VM is powered off. When the VM is powered on, is what a vMotion is. Essentially letting you copy a VM from one host to another while it's powered on and that VM does not go down. How many VMs can you store on an ESXi host? It's one of those trick questions. Well, really depends. Can you install five VMs on one ESXi host? Can you install 50 VMs on one ESXi host? Really depends on the resources of the ESXi host. How much CPU, how much RAM, do you have available on that ESXi host? How much storage is available on that host, on the SAN, on the NAS? Will all depend on how many VMs you can build on that ESXi host. What is DRS? Well, DRS is a technology in vCenter that allows you to automate the resources being allocated between your hosts. So you've got VMs running on host one, you've got VMs running on host two, VMs are running host one are starting to run really, really hot. They're using a lot of the resources, a lot of the CPU, a lot of the memory. Host two is not running too bad. So what DRS will do is it's gonna look at host one and gonna say, hey, there's a lot of resources running on this one host. I'm gonna automatically vMotion, copy a VM from one host to another without you having to do anything. You don't have to be manually moving the VMs around. 
DRS will do it for you. What is VMware's HA or high availability? Essentially making sure that a host is highly available with another host. You've got two hosts, they're both running VMs. One host goes down, the other host takes on the load and gets all of those VMs. And then those VMs are booted up on that second host. Because if you don't have HA available and your VMware host goes down, you lose those virtual machines that are running on it. So having HA, make sure that you can keep VMs running onto another host. What is VMware Workstation? Well, the VMware Workstation is the desktop version of the server product. The server product is ESXi. That is the installation where you're removing Windows, Linux off the computer, you're installing ESXi. Well, Workstation, you install it as an application on your Windows computer, and now you can actually build virtual machines within your Windows computer in an application. What is VMware Fusion? Same sort of thing, but it's the VMware application for the Mac. You can install VMware Fusion on a Mac and then build a whole bunch of virtual machines within your Mac. What is a VApp? Well, a VApp is a container for your VMs. You can essentially group related VMs and manage them as single units. So you can easily manage all of them through a VApp. What is a virtual network? Well, it's not a physical network, is it? A physical network is what you physically see. Maybe you've got switches, physical switches. Well, these are now virtual versions of those. They're virtual software based, very similar functionality, but it's now a virtual version of a physical type. And then a question may be around what is a virtual switch? You've got standard switches, you've got distributed switches. Well, a virtual switch is not a physical switch, it's a virtual one. You can assign a virtual switch against a VM or a VM talks to a virtual switch. A distributed switch, well, that can be applied against multiple hosts. What is a data store? Well, a data store is the storage on a VMware environment. If you're gonna deploy ESXi onto a host, well, the storage that's on that ESXi host becomes the very first data store. When you're building a VM, you're physically storing it on the data store, which is actually some real disks behind the scenes. Data store can be pointing to an iSCSI or to an NFS SAN or NAS, allowing you to have network-based storage on your ESXi, your vCenter, as a data store. What is SRM or Site Recovery Manager? Essentially, it's a DR solution, a disaster recovery solution that provides automated recovery for a full virtual environment in the event of a disaster. It helps you as an administrator to ensure that your business continues to run. Essentially, you're gonna have copies of VMs in two different spots so that if the primary VMware farm, the hosts go down, you've got an alternate site that is fully up and running. Well, then that will pop up in the event of a disaster. Of course, these are not gonna be word for word the same when you go in for an interview. As I said at the start, go do your own study on top of what we've covered today. I like to have a home space, a home lab set up, where I've actually installed VMware onto there. And then that way, when you do get for an interview, you sort of know what you're talking about because you have played around with it at home. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you on the next video.